why is it so cold? It's April! Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. I'm Devra and welcome back to my greenhouse and garden. This video is going to be about planting seeds, what I'm growing, what I'm repotting and harvesting because it's April. Although there's not much to harvest at the moment. But there's still a few things. I've been quite busy the last few weeks, so let me show you what I've been up to. It's the 20th of March, 2021, and I have been busy in the greenhouse. So I've got my plan for the year, extra soil, and my label maker. And this is what I'm working with today. These seeds were started on the 8th of February. I did pop these seeds into the greenhouse maybe about a week ago. I've still got my heat mat under here. All the extra seedlings from the grow light experiment are now out here. Along with all the sweet corn, I have planted more sweet corn in here. We've got Brussels sprouts at the end. Again, I've planted some more seeds in here because they were not growing very well. And as you can see, they're quite leggy. The sweet corn was also planted on the 3rd of March, as were the rest of these. The strawberries still haven't sprouted, but they do take a little while longer, so I'm not just too worried about them at the moment. And I've transplanted all the cucumbers, pumpkins and squash. Although, after transplanting, yeah, they're not looking the best, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping now I've given them a water, they will perk up a bit. That might just take 24 hours. I have got a heat mat under here as well, because I just don't trust that the greenhouse is going to be warm enough. But hopefully they will get on fine. So that brings us to today, the 20th of March 2021. Down here I've got the plant theatre kit and this is my confetti garden. And over here we've got some peas and beans and courgettes. Let's start with the courgettes. These little red seeds are courgettes, Virginia 3s. We got these seeds in Tenerife a couple of years ago. I've grown these quite a few times, I absolutely love them. So I'm really excited to try and grow these again and maybe try and seed save from them this year. And these seeds, courgettes Defender F1. Just normal courgettes really. And these beautiful speckled little seeds. These seeds are so pretty. And they are climbing French beans, speckled cranberry. On to a menagerie of different seeds. These ones at the top are seeds I've saved and they're Shiraz Monge 2s. So I'm excited to see if they grow. These are marrow peas and these are seed saved marrow peas. So this is the packet for them and my seed saved ones. Yeah, my seed saved peas look a bit fresh so we'll see if they grow and that's the original marrow peas. And finally we've got sugar pod peas. These are the Oregon sugar pod peas. And of course the seed saved peas. The seed saved peas look a little bit more wrinkly and the original peas look a little bit more firmer and slightly lighter in colour. So these are the plant theatre seeds. Here we got? We've got the tobacco plant, fragrant cloud. Then we've got night flocks, don't know how to pronounce that. Stocks, night scented and stocks, dwarf Anu. Again, no idea to pronounce that. Then we've got our sweet pea mix and sweet rocket. So here are the seeds for me and Andy's confetti garden. I'm so excited for these. We've got cornflower, clary and larkspur. So I'm going to get this topped up with compost and watered in and popped in the propagator. And there is a heat mat under there too. How cute is this? Andy and Deb's confetti garden. Cute little sign to go with the flowers when they appear. One of our friends got us this kit for an engagement gift. So cute, I absolutely love it. This is the fragrant flower kit by Plant Theatre that I'm trying this year. I'm really excited about this to see how they go. There's six different types of flowers. The kit comes with everything you should need. They've got loads of different kits on their website. I did buy this with the intention of giving it to someone for Christmas and then kept it for myself. So hopefully later in the year, I will be doing a slightly more in-depth review on this and see how I get on with it. Fragrant flowers, I mean, who doesn't want a fragrant flower in their garden? I want all the fragrant flowers and they look like they're going to be beautiful colours. I also decided it was time to dig up the parsnips because I need the room for some other veg. Rubbish parsnips. <gasps> Holy toot. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting that. Whoa. So we have got at least one parsnip. Oh, just another small one. More small parsnips. I will plant parsnips again this year and hopefully we'll have better luck. So after I dug up the parsnips, well one good parsnip and lots of rubbish parsnips, I dug over the bed just to loosen all the soil and then removed any lumps or weeds or any extra 
roots or anything like that from the bed ready to do some more planting so because i've got a date for going back to work i'm not going to have much time in april so i've taken the decision and the risk of maybe planting things up a little bit too early this year because if i don't it might not happen at all wish me luck <laughs> I'm gonna need it because this weekend apparently there's going to be a lot of frost and cold and I'm just, oh my gosh, fingers crossed. Everything survives that I've planted so far. I'm also going to be planting these today. So we've got Charlotte seed potatoes. They are second earlies. They're already starting to chit and sprout. So I think I'm gonna have to just get these in the ground. It does say I can plant them in March, so I'm going to give these a go. And I've got some rooster seed potatoes and they are definitely chitting and sprouting. So need to do something with these. And lastly, I've got some set onions and they are stirring set onions. I want to go ahead and plant these simply because set onions I planted in October last year aren't the greatest. Oh, how bizarre. Just notice a little shell in there. How's that gotten in there? Oh well. Ask no questions, hear no lies. So it was a tiny bit tricky to get the ties out of his bag without ripping off any bits. So very carefully with a pair of scissors, I've tried to cut the ties out of their bag without damaging them. So I've popped in the potatoes. They are a little bit close together, but I don't have much room, so that's just what I'm going to do. Down here I've popped in the onions. So we've got rooster potatoes at the top, charlotte potatoes down here, the stuton onions down here. I am going to cover these with soil and what are them in? I have got a few tatties left over so I might try growing them in containers. And there's a few onions left but once I harvest the rest of these carrots they'll go in there. So I have gone ahead and planted the leftover tatties in containers and I will show you them in a little while. We also got the dreaded hedge finally dealt with. So Andy's brother John came over with a chainsaw and gave it a chop. So we're going to cut down from a diagonal and all this on top of here in line with this wall. Hopefully that'll mean it'll be a little bit easier for me to cut and trim myself and keep it neat. Look at that hedge, so much better. Finally, the hedge is cut to a manageable level. I can't even tell you how happy having the hedge cut makes me. And especially because we've managed to do it before the hedge comes back to life and the birds start nesting. And it'll be much easier for me to maintain and look after with my electric hedge trimmer. And now time to do some repotting or potting up. Whatever it's called, let's get on with it. It's the 29th of March today and I thought I would give you a little sneak peek of how all my seedlings are doing. So these are the aubergines, chilies, jalapenos and peppers. They're doing pretty good. Not entirely sure what happened to this one but it seems to be sort of growing okay now. If you can see under there, these are on top of a heat mat. On the 3rd of March, these are the seedlings I planted. So here are some of the tomatoes. These are moneymaker tomatoes. These are the seed saved ones and these are the normal ones. And actually, I'd say the seed saved ones have actually grown way better. And we've got some cucumbers and pumpkins and squash and bits and pieces here. I do have some strawberries down here, but they're not growing. Don't know what's happening there. And the sweet corn. These sweet corns are looking pretty good, although I did plant more. So on the 20th of March, I did plant some more. So there's some more sweet corn growing in there. They're doing well. And this is how everything's doing. So it's only been nine days and everything's sprouting really well. Especially the seed saved things. I mean, they're growing just as well as everything else at the same rate. Quite pleased with that. I'm starting to see the climbing fringe being here. Courgettes are coming up, more courgettes. And then the flowers are getting on really well as well. Still nothing here. Yeah, I think everything in here is starting to sprout up in here. Yeah, really pleased with how that's looking. So today I think I'm going to plant up some of these. I think I'm going to plant up the cucumbers, maybe some tomatoes, a sweet corn. So I'm going to get some of them planted into the raised beds here. I've already got my supports up, so when they grow they'll be nicely supported. And down here I've got the Ramasco cauliflower. I honestly thought this thing was going to die, but it's doing great. So I plan to plant that in here under my mesh protector box. So in each of my pink planters, I'm going to be planting three plants in line with the plant supports I've put up. They're just made of string, but they will help support the plants as they grow. It's 
now the 1st of April, so I'm going to show you how the greenhouse and the garden is doing. So here is how the greenhouse is looking today. I have put up all my plant supports now. I've just tied a bit of string up here, tied some lengths of rope here, dropped them down to the planters and then stabbed them in using a tent bag. So there's going to be tomatoes, cucumber, tomatoes, loofahs hopefully, and more tomatoes at the end there. Cucumbers are doing okay. This is the Seed Safe Moneymaker tomatoes. And this is Out the Packet Moneymaker tomatoes. And at the bottom here we've got our first batch of sweet corn. So they seem to have taken quite happily. They all look quite healthy at the moment. Everything down here is doing quite well. Although soon the greenhouse is going to be too warm for the lettuce so I don't want to bolt and go to flower so I'm going to get that eaten. We've got more Romasco cauliflowers here. Here's the sweet corn I planted, that's growing like crazy. And we've got some more Brussels sprouts popping up. Yeah, quite a few of them. And hopefully that will replace these leggy ones. This lot's all doing fine. And this one I've just pinched off the worst of the bad leaves. Still no strawberries, but the butternut squashes and the pumpkins seem to be doing rather well. So let's hope that cold snap coming isn't going to hurt them. Plant theatre seeds are doing pretty good. These are the seedlings for the confetti garden. They're growing quite a lot. So up here we've got the peas and monge too. I would say the seed safe peas are doing just as well, if not better, as the ones out the packet. We've got a climbing French bean appearing there. Virginia three courgettes and defender courgettes. All looking great in there. Really pleased how these seedlings are coming along. On to the garden and the raised beds. The onions do seem to be doing fine since I added the extra soil but we won't know for sure until later in the year and see if they come to anything. Garlic seems to be growing well. Under the protective mesh box I have planted the Romasco cauliflower. It seems to be growing okay although that leaf is definitely getting eaten by something. And in this bed we've got the tatties and the onions. The garden is starting to feel like it's coming back to life. This is the red currant. Got a fair lot of growth on it now. And in here we've got a raspberry. Got some leaves appearing on the apple tree and on the pear tree. And below the apple and the pear tree I've got my buckets of potatoes. In here I've popped the rooster potatoes. And this bucket and this bucket I've got the charlotte potatoes in. Bramble starting to get some life. Seems to be a lot of dead areas on that but that's okay. Oh! There's a good lot of growth down there, isn't there? Really pleased with that. And on the black currant, blueberries come into life, as is our new pear tree. The flowers aren't doing too much at the moment, but there is a lot more green in there. The tulips are so close to flowering, and I'm most of all excited about this one, the Himalayan blue poppy. That looks like it's doing really well, so I've got all my fingers crossed we're actually going to get poppies this year. I've just noticed the rhubarb coming back to life too. I've also got a propagator in the house with some flower seeds and some loofah seeds. So this is the propagator I've got in the house. We've got sun gold tomatoes and seed safe sun gold tomatoes. I didn't think the seed safe tomatoes were going to grow, but they are. Got some lemon balm, some strawberries, a loofah, and some tomato F1 honeycomb. I've got one lemon balm growing in there, but these are the loofahs. Now, they are a little bit leggy because my sun blaster light is probably a little bit too far away, but. I think these are doing really well. Got a little true leaf form in there. And down there. And the other side is all the flowers I'm growing. We've got quite a few libella seeds starting to sprout. Got marigolds down here. Definitely going towards the light and very leggy. And one tiny seedling in there. Gallardia. I don't know how to pronounce that. They're under a heat mat. In my windowsill with a heat lamp. So I'll pop the propagator lid back on them and leave them to grow. We've also had some visitors. So we do have this little ginger cat that comes to visit us in our garden. He just seems to walk the perimeter of the house in the garden. I often see him at the lounge window, we see him on the security cameras, on the decking table, sneaking all over the place. There's a little grey cat as well that visits too. I see them most days actually. I haven't seen any mice yet this year. We've got plenty of birds and my little robin's back. I hadn't seen my robin for a while so Pleased to say I have seen him. It's a few days later and I've actually gone ahead and popped a few things in the greenhouse. Because we've got this storm coming, I thought it was best just to pop things in the greenhouse and hopefully they'll be happier in here. I've got the tatties down here, our new pear tree. These are the avocados. 
pretty sure these guys are not surviving but is that a tiny bit of growth in here i'll leave it and see how it gets on this one's definitely dead i know there's a whole pile of weeds in here i really should take them out i take these weeds out as well I've taken this black planter of flowers in too and I'm just crossing my fingers all the seedlings are going to be okay. The little beauty tulips are just about to flower and my tulips tall variety are starting to flower. They are beautiful, isn't this just typical? Everything's starting to flower and of course now it's going to snow. Hello, have you come to investigate? No, that's not for you. It's not for doggies, out you go. Out, out, out. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope everything stays fine in the greenhouse over the next few days. Everything else in the garden is just gonna to have to fend for itself, unfortunately. But I shall update you on my next garden update and how we get on. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Of course, subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. to grow in this park. Oh, bog look off. I just seen a seagull do the biggest poop you've ever imagined in your life. That was some rare amount of bird poo. <laughs> Disgusting. At least it was that side of the wall, it's fine. So, anyway.